Welcome to UAT Solutions in this tutorial. We will discuss the reasons of compressor failure. Here are some major mentions. 1. Loss of lubrication. 2. Flooding 3. Compressor overheating. 4. Electrical problems, loss of lubrication. Poor oil filter, mechanical damaged parts like oil pump, contamination which will lead to system shutdown. Piping errors can also cause of compressor failure. For example, if a bigger suction line than actually design is used, oil won't return to the compressor which will lead to low lubrication. If suction line is used lesser than actual design, then pressure drop will be more and will result in low lubrication in the compressor. Flooding has two types. Type 1 is flooded start, and type 2 is flooding while compressor is running. Let's understand flooded start first. If compressor crank case heater is not working during off-cycle, then liquid refrigerant sinks under compressor oil as shown, and when compressor starts foaming take place as shown, and oil circulates with the refrigerant. Also, cold refrigerant mixed in oil carry the oil to the circuit wash away the cylinder lubrication. Shown piston damages accrue due to flooding in cylinder and poor lubrication. Now let's move to the second type flooding while running. Term flooding is used when compressor is running and huge amount of liquid refrigerant is entering the compressor. As we know, liquids cannot be compressed and liquid refrigerant cause low lubrication and foaming of oil. This causes mostly complete failure of compressor mechanical and electrical system. A case of flooding is shown. As compressor was operating in flooded state for long, which lead the rotor bearing run out of lubrication, resulting damage of bearing led to the drop of rotor on the stator coil and a short circuit happened resulting in failure of compressor. Compressor overheating. High heat causes lubrication breakdown, and deposit of carbon in the compressor and on the oil filter. Causes of compressor overheating are as follows. High condensing temperature, high discharge temperature, bad discharge valve, less motor cooling, fewer refrigerants in the system. Electrical problems. 1. Voltage unbalance. 2. Current unbalance. Calculation method of current and voltage unbalance and why it happens will be explained in next tutorial. Please subscribe us at UA Technical Solutions.